Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Christian Lomelli and today is just one of those videos where I talk over um, my overall trades and why I took my positions. Alright, let's get straight into it. Today I took a, a position on LEN, right? Lenner Corp Com. Um, the pattern was just visible, right? It had a huge push up. It kind of pulled back a little bit and because of the positive earning reports, the positive, um, everything was pretty much positive. It caused a, I wouldn't say a huge spike. At market open I bought in at um, 55 as you guys can see watch I'll show you guys 5579 and I sold at 5704 5579 5579 and I sold up here Yep, right here. So it was a total, a little bit over 2%. Um, the reason for the trade was I, its earning reports was really positive, even on pre-market. It was up already 3.2%. Um, earnings per share of 1.59 beat the average analyst estimate of 1.32 as the housing market continued to solidify during the quarter. Um, so it has to do something with the housing market. I don't know exactly sure. See, this is the thing. You don't really need to know what the stocks do. You just need to know what investors are going to either short the stock or buy into the stock, right? And if you're able to to know what investors are going to do, think like an investor, then you're most likely going to be right. Um, per share advance from 1.37, you guys can see it advanced a lot. Um, from the year ago quarter, um, deliver rose deliveries rose seven percent to thirteen th over thirteen thousand homes, and new orders increased nine percent to thirteen th over thirteen thousand homes during the quarter. Um, total revenue um, exceeds consensus estimate of this right here, and increased from this number in quarter three. So, of course. 5.86 is higher than 5.48 billion and then 5.6 billion, of course. So um, everything was positive from new orders. Average home sale price quarter was 390K versus 412K. Um, backlog of eight, over 18,000 homes down 2% with backlog dollar value of 7.6 billion down 9%. So everything seemed bullish right there's no reason why an investor would look at this and doubt that this company's performing good right so um my initial it, this literally took me five minutes i woke up at six um 6 20 ish my uh, laptop was acting a little bit slow um and i literally did my analysis three minutes i went over a couple stocks i went over len and aya now AYA did push up a little bit more, but it's it's fine. I I walked away with over two percent profit, two point two four to be exact. Um, yeah, it played out perfect as I planned it. I usually wait about a minute or so, see where it's playing out, and since I knew it was gonna sell off right at market open because, okay, it had a huge spike, right? It had a spike of almost five percent. Um, it kind of stayed in this area and then it sold off because these initial investors were selling the shares Now with that said I market open more people are gonna sell and then right after that buyers are gonna take over which makes the price push back up um, And that's just it was it was just so clear and um, It was so clear as to what direction the stock was gonna go um, other than that, just wanted to keep it short, quick. What is it like four minutes? Four minutes long. Just um, yeah, I did a lot better at managing my uh, pretty much how I trade, and I I like this overall fundamental trading. We'll see how the rest of the week uh, goes, but make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want me to maybe talk about some certain stocks or um, give you guys uh, an like websites that I how I perform my fundamental and technical analysis again I'm just um, I'm by no means an expert or anything I just want to document my journey like I've said in previous videos but all in all I'm here to help guys so if you guys have any questions you feel free to DM me uh, leave a comment and please please hit that like button um, but nonetheless
yeah, I'm pretty. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.